Uncle Dan, Uncle Dan, Uncle Dan. It never ceases to amaze me when my character, Uncle Dan, baits a scammer for more than 10 minutes. Seriously, most scammers cannot handle the brash, often obnoxious, and overbearing Daniel James Wilson. To say this character is a challenge is an understatement. To play the character, I literally channel my father, Thomas, a Georgia, USA native, and the beloved cartoon Foghorn Leghorn. So if you can imagine beaming into a dream while riding in a boat down a twisting and turning river, that's what it's like playing Uncle Dan. My heart is filled with joy when I play the character because for a moment in time, it's like being with my dad all over again while dragging scammers through an experience they will likely never forget. I am so glad more and more folks are taking a liking to this character because honestly I never thought it was going to stick and I'm so glad it did. Cheers. Thank you for calling the PayPal help desk. This is Chris Baker. How can I help you? Hello. I got a message in my email that says we have been purchased Dalton antivirus for $499. We'd like to cancel What about it, sir? I want to cancel the order, son. All it right. I, I can call and cancel. All right. All right. All right. Well, uh, can I have your first name and your last name, please? Sure. My name is Daniel James Wilson. Thank you for being on hold. I just had a check in my database, and I can see out here, sir, that there has been a $500 charge in your PayPal account for the purchase of Norton. And $500. we do see a problem in the transaction. Because we are afraid to tell you, sir, that your details have been compromised and there are people who have got access, there are intruders who have got access to all your financial and personal information intruders. through the internet connection. Intruders. All right. And My goodness. We need to go ahead, cancel this transaction and shut down the PayPal account completely because otherwise they can use it for anything that they want to and you are the one who will be losing all the money and your information, right? Oh my God. So. Oh my God. We don't want that. Uh, Hell no. What do we need to do? How do I cancel? All right. We need you to be in front of a computer so that we can connect you with our secure server and process the cancellation request. All right, uh, is, that a, is that a Windows computer? Or is that an Apple computer that you're using? Yep, it'd be Microsoft Windows 10. It's Microsoft All right, Windows uh, do you 10. use Microsoft Edge or do you use Google Chrome? We use the Google, boy. We use the Google Chrome. All right, open up your Google Chrome. Okay, got it. Now, at the very top, at the very top of the Google Chrome page, you will see the long white panel, the address bar. Do you see it? Yeah. Make that panel blank and type in uh, there, G-O, G-O, go, sit, no. S -S -Y -S. sit, S-Y-S, S-Y-S, uh, G-O-S-Y-S, dot U-S, dot U-S, dot U-S. That's what I did, boy. I typed Hit enter. G O S Y S dot U S. Hit enter. Okay, I did. What do you see? It's a website, son. It comes up on my screen. Yes, what do you see on your screen? Was it what is written in it? Can you go ahead and tell that? The screen now, changed on Look me. at the left hand. It says John Session. John yes. your Session. Your browser. Yes. Now look at the download the app. Click on the file in the bottom left corner of your browser to start launching the app. I'm listening, son. I'm listening. I'm listening to you. Okay, I can be quiet. I can be quiet. Look at the extreme left-hand bottom corner of your computer screen. You will see a file that has been downloaded. Connectwisecontrol.exe. Do you see it? Yes. It says Connectwise Counter. I sure do. Open it up and then you will get two options. Give a click on run first and then you will get an option like yes or no. Give a click on yes. All right. Son, it says open file, security warning. 
do you yes, okay. want to run this file? Okay. ConnectWise LLC. Give a click on run. Click well, son, there's two buttons. Give a click on the there are, there are two buttons, boy. Run or cancel. Which one should I click on, boy? Run. I run. done did it. Yes, sir. Now, it says application warning. Publisher cannot be verified. It wants me to click on run or don't Give run. Give a click on run. Which one should I click on, yes. boy? Give a click on run. I did it. I run. did it. So give a click on run. I did it. Now, it says now give download. A click on, yes, you will get an offer. Open file security warning. Do you want to run this file? And now, it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? All right, now just hold on for a moment. You will get connected with the secure server, and you will get the cancellation form in front of you, all right? Once you, once you give a click on, once you submit that, once you give a click on verify, all right, you will see it will be giving you a response, right? So read that response carefully, okay? Because it will be telling you what you need to do, all right? That is, you need to accept the refund, okay? So go ahead, log into your online checking account, and check whether you have received the refund or not, okay? And give me a confirmation. Well, do you want me to read it first? You said to read okay. it all the way through. All right, go ahead and read it. PayPal. And then refund form. log in into your checking account. Your refund form has been submitted. You will, I say, boy, you will receive a cop copy by email, your transaction ID. Oh, there's some numbers. Should I be writing those down, son? Well, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Our representative will assist you with online refund link, ORL, or direct bank-to-bank -bank transfer. Our representative will not take any personal information as required by federal banking laws. That's a lot. This is fascinating. Yes. Uh, so did you log in into your checking account and see whether you received the funds or not? I don't see the money. Okay, thank boy. you for the confirmation. I don't, I don't see the money. All right. Thank you. Now go. If you are, all right, just hold on for a moment. Don't click on anything. All right. Don't click on anything. Let me go ahead and tell those details to my accounts team and find out why the transfer didn't go through. All right. So just hold on for a moment, okay? Okay. Because the transfer didn't go through, that is a bit of risk. All right. Because I guess those intruders are blocking it from your system. Okay. Hey, hey. So what we will do for oh my God. My technical... There's intruders. Holy hell. Sir, sir, you don't need to worry. I'm here to help you out with this, and I'll make sure that you don't lose a single penny from your account, all right? And Th that is the reason good. I'm telling my technical team, go ahead and run a security scan. So please leave your mouse, all right? Please leave your mouse. The security team will go ahead and run a security scan, okay? Well, your computer is responding extremely slow. That is the reason it is taking such a long time, because... Sir, your computer has been accessed from foreign addresses, all right? That is the reason. Foreign addresses? What the all hell? All right. Is the commies, uh, is the in my computer? Well, sir. What the uh, hell? Well, sir. Well, I'm, well, sir, calm down, okay? I'm helping you out with this, okay? I'm you calm. calm down. We will calm. make sure that you don't lose nothing. Holy hell! All right, do you see? Hold on. I'm holding on. Hold on for a moment, okay? I'm holding on. Yes, boy. I'm going. I'm to. I'm, I need to go I ahead. I'm holding on. Yes, I will be going ahead and connecting you with the financial desk. All right, directly. How long have you been working for this company, son? You, you seem like you was an expert. Well, sir, I have been working here for two and a half years now. Wow, you okay. impressing, you impressing I'm trying people. my best. No, you're doing fine. Thank you so much. Uh, well, uh, I will I will take your compliments once I go ahead and make sure 
that you don't lose any of your money and you get the refund from our end and this intruders are out of your computer okay so, just so, give me a moment okay so you're, you're with the you're with an honest man all right do you go to church son do you believe in the good lord you go to church boy i'm a preacher son you can trust me do you go to church do you believe in the good lord so i I'm really not... don't i really don't go ahead and get what are you talking do you go to church? Do you go to church on Sunday and and praise the Jesus? Yes, I do. You do? Honey, get your little buns over here. We got a believer. Praise sir, sir what is wrong with you? I'm not getting you, all right? Sir, Sorry. sir, just calm down and let me go ahead and do the work. Make right. sure that your fine. computer is completely safe. And okay. we need to go ahead and get those intruders out, all right? Okay. I'll be quiet. I can be quiet. Okay. I can be quiet. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I need to show you what is going wrong out here, okay? Do you see? Okay. Okay. I have forwarded the details. All right, just hold on. I will forward the details to my financial manager, okay? And uh, can you please confirm me your first name and your last name? Yes, son. My name is Daniel James Wilson. I'm a preacher. Are we talking on your cell phone right now? You sure are. It's my cell phone, boy. All right. Thank you so much for the confirmation. So I need to go ahead and forward these details to my team. And do you do do you have a home phone? No, I'm a cell phone. Son. I'm a mobile. Preacher boy, I move. I on the move. All right, all right, all right. I got that. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Now, just hold on for a moment. I have forwarded the details to my financial manager, and he will be available in the next 10 to 15 minutes. All right. In the meanwhile, you can see that I have already started a scan in your computer. Do you see it? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, exactly. Now, do you see how much it is fluctuating, right? Because it goes up till here and then gets down right here. Do you see that? Yes. It is sending around. That is the reason. And all this is happening. The reason all this is happening is because your IP addresses are being accessed from foreign addresses. All right. Okay. So just what? let me show that to you. All right. I'll what? show that to you. What the darn is an IP address? What the hell is that? Well, every computer has... It is it is a specific address uh, to, like, particularize your computer. Every computer has a unique IP address, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Based like on a, the internet connection. It's like a mailing address when I get my postal yeah. mail, boy. Uh, That's exciting. That's exciting. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Now look at your computer, okay? Look carefully at your computer. I will show I you that from I how many foreign addresses your computer is being accessed from. All right. Foreign addresses. All right. Oh my look God. Oh my God. Do you see out here? Yeah, it's just foreign addresses. Yes. Well, we have secured your computer right now. That is the reason oh, it says foreign God. connections detected. No foreign. Thank the Lord, you secured it. All right. Yeah. Right on. Just give me a moment. All right. Just give me a moment. Let okay. me go ahead and tell this to my team. All right. Okay. The run can go through, and my. And my financial manager will get a hold of you in the meanwhile. Just hold on the line for the next five to ten minutes, all right? Don't hang up the line, okay? I won't. I won't. I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to stay in my five foot. I don't even got my tootsies on. I don't even have my tootsies on. I'll just play. I'll just stay right here. Well, uh, we have generated a transaction ID and a reference ID for you, all right? Oh, okay. So do you have a pen and paper handy? I sure do. I got ones right here, boy, and I got a pen. We will go ahead and transfer the call to our financial manager, all right? Because our oh, financial man. manager will be able to call till that time. And that will take around five to ten minutes, all right? So till oh, that man. time, don't hang up the line and don't do anything on your computer, okay? Because we are trying to track those intruders. 
who were trying to get a hold over your information and over your system. All right. Okay. Well, don't mind me, boy. I'm gonna go in the kitchen. I'll keep the phone on the speaker while I cook up some some taters and beans. I'm gonna have taters and beans for lunch. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You can click on yes. Well, son, there's two buttons. Yes or no. Which one should I click on, boy? Click on yes. Click on yes. Okay, I did. All right, now just hold on for a moment. I guess uh, the manager is available to go ahead and give you a call. So let me just uh, have a word with him, okay? You got your lunch with you? No, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still prepping it up, boy. I'm uh, fixing my taters and they're cooking right now. All right. They're cooking right now. I'm hanging up the line, and my financial manager will give you a call. His name is Harry, okay? Am I speaking with Mr. Daniel Wilson? Yes, that'd be me, boy. My name's Daniel. All right. Hi, Mr. Daniel. This is Harry Gray, and I'm from the PayPal fraud department. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you doing, Harry? I'm doing fine, sir. Son, I'm a preacher, son. Do you go to church? Yes. I yo, do yo, 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 get your little buns over here. We got some believer. Is everything fine, sir? Everything's fine. I'm mean, eating some lunch, having some taters, working with you fine folks, helping me get this this thing canceled and answering questions about how people has been connecting, taking advantage of my phone connections. I find that fascinating. We are just trying to remove those hackers from your devices like your cell phone and your laptop so that in future you do not get charged, Mr. Wilson. That's all. Nice. I'd like to hear that. That's nice. And you have a very heavy tone, so maybe I might think that you are having a sarcastic tone. Maybe that is the reason why I do not understand it. Son, so never mind. Son, uh, son, son, I was born and raised in Georgia. I have a southern accent. Okay. It might be confusing at times, but rest assured, I'm an honest, hard-working man and loves people from all okay. walks of life. And I respect you, son. I respect you. All right. Uh Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for all your You're words welcome. and for, for for all your appreciation. So of I appreciate that. I'm so, a preacher, son. I I love all people. I like to help them because I believe in God. I believe too. I know. So which church do you fantastic. follow, basically? I'm a, I'm a Southern Baptist, boy. I got my start in Louisiana. All right. Let's keep Louisiana, so you have and to... Florida. I was preaching the good load everywhere. All right, Mr. Wilson. Then I'll be just going ahead and I'll be proceeding with your refund. Do you remember how much was your refund? It was three ninety nine dollars So it will be basically a total round of $400. So you please write it down on a piece of paper. And now... So, we are going to proceed with your refund, and we are just going to put you, give you the refund right away, right now, sir. So, nice. That's nice. If you see, what do you see right now on your screen? The sun. If the screen is blue, it's got software is updating. Don't turn off your computer. Okay. What does that message mean, son? What kind of update? It is updating your server your whole basic internet server so that in future nobody can access your device because currently we have to fix all your account information and everything which is connected to your social security number. Because sir, I hope you know that all your financial institutions are connected with the same social security number. And as you have been a victim of an identity theft, it takes a lot of time to change your social security number and do a lot of things to change your I bank imagine. accounts and a lot of things are there. I imagine. So, so that is the reason why we need to make sure that everything works out properly. And 
that's it so that is the reason why we are making you aware of it and why we need to make it completely like we need to make sure that there is no more interference with you in future with any person trying to steal your information and we need to protect you for that understood so that that would be fine i appreciate yeah. your help son you impressing me boy can Thank i get you, your sir. can i get your full name Thank what's your whole what's your first and last name child it's harry gray you can pray Thank for me so Harry Gray. Well, God bless you, Harry. Yeah. You, you are will. helping a man of God. I preach the good word, and I am going to be praying about you tonight. Good things, boy. Thank you, sir. You helping a preacher, son. That's good. Hold on. I need to put the phone down, boy. My taters is done. I got to go in the kitchen and scoop him up and eat him. I'll be right back, boy. Where you, you have a that? very beautiful, uh, you have a, yeah. A very beautiful what, boy? Uh, your accent, sir. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Georgia. I, I grew up in the South. You have that gangster rapper voice. <laughs> gangster rapper? No way, Jose. Yeah. I am a man of the word. I <laughs> preach the good load. Ain't no rapper, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm not trying to disrespect you for any sort of that. But so, it's just like something very close of my friends sounded to you. Like this. it was a similar sound. So that's the reason. Okay. I, I believe you. you about I, it. I believe you. I didn't take no insult. So there's gangs where I right. live, boy. So, there was where I grew up. There is gangs. There is gangs. They bad. Yeah. They hurt people. They yeah. take drugs and they drink booze. You don't uh uh booze or you don't drink anyway. Son, son, I'm a preacher. I don't drink. I drink ass tea. Like. I drink ass no, tea. No, like sometimes wine. Oh, like sometimes wine or yeah. Something. Yeah, I don't drink wine. I do that from time to time. Fine wine, wine, dine. Son, um, what does that have to do with us getting this service refund? All right, so what can you see on your screen right now, by the way? Is it still blue? No, I can see the Google search. Okay, so you simply go to your bank and let me know once you're logged into your bank. Okay, I'm logged in. You have logged in, sir? I sure am. All right, sir. Uh, is it Cypress Federal Credit Union or just Credit Union? Well, it's, yeah, formerly Cypress Federal Credit Union, but it's really not okay, a federal so bank so much. Your only... name is your, your name is Daniel, right? Daniel. And the account which you are logging in is that your account or your wife's account or your daughter's account? That's my wife, but it's a joint account, boy. We both signed on to this bank. We're married. If you are the owner of this account, then only we will be able to transfer you the money on this account. Or else son, you will have to log into your personal account. Son, it's a joint account. As yes. man and wife, we are both right. equal owners. All right, sir. So every family should have four accounts, I believe. One should nope. be nope. Uh, say, like a total saving nope. account, and one should be the expenses account, and one should be a joint account. No, and not, not really. One should be a personal account. Son, it doesn't work. Uh, what that I way. believe. Uh, Son, I've been doing this my whole life. All right. I, it's never been that way, all boy. Right. No. Why no, would I, I my opinion, sir. I'm not telling you. I, I have a daughter. Her name is Emma. She's 12 years old. I ain't setting up no bank account for her. She's my daughter. She's too young. And my wife, she's pretty. Yeah. We both make decisions and we do them together. 
Why make it more complex than it needs to right. be, son? It's too complex. All right, sir. So uh, you will be receiving the money in your checking account. So please click on your checking account, sir. You will just have to write down the available balance on a piece of paper, sir. Whatever balance you have of your checking account, please write it down on a piece of paper. Okay, do that now. The reason why I'm asking you to write it down, because once the money will be transferred to you, you will be able to receive a statement with that amount, which will be $400. Understood. Oh my God, the monitor! It, you see, it, that, my monitor's turned off. All right, sir. Don't worry. Uh, that is our bank, which is now going to be logged in so that you can easily transfer back out the whole money from our account into your account. Okay. okay? Un understood. And you said your daughter is 12 years old, sir? Yeah. How old are you? Son, that's not a very nice question. No, I was just asking you because your voice sounded very young, so that is the reason. Well, that's mighty fine of you to say, boy, but I'm in my 40s. How old are you? I'm 28, sir. Oh, son, you're a baby. You're a little baby. Yeah. You got your whole life ahead of you, son. Looking, looking bright and all good. Do good things. Helping people. Yes. It's got to be a great feeling being like you. People call you up. They're in trouble. You help them right the wrongs. Get their money back. You're doing God's work, son. You should be proud of yourself. Yes, sir. So, sir, do you see any, uh, op any bank account which has a name which says Chase Business Account, that is our account, from where you are getting the money from the account. You are getting the money is from our account. Okay. And it is going to your checking account. Do you see that? Yes, I sure do. Yes, I do. So you simply, so you simply need to type over there the refund amount, which is $400. $400. Right. Um, it's not letting me type. I'm trying to type. Hold on, that's too many too many zeros. Not sure why so many zeros I was on there. What do you often do you see, sir? Well, I guess I click on close or what options? It's got a button yeah, that says click close. on close. Something may right. Looks like my balance in my check in is much larger then anticipated, instead of $400, my goodness, it's $400,000. $400,000? Yeah. Good Lord. Are you What's going kidding on? me? What the hell? Oh, my. Why did you do that? Oh, my God. What's going on? I ask you to type in four hundred dollars, sir. Son, I did. I typed four zero zero. Oh my God, I'm so holy nervous crap. right now. What the hell is holy going God. on, honey? Okay, sir, get just your little buns over that. here. Something going on, sweetin. Look at that. Oh, you gotta go. You gonna go bingo? Okay, doll. I'll take care of this. Stay safe, honey. Sir, what is going on? Why did it say $400,000? Sir, when you were entering the amount, did you check the amount? Yeah. I looked. It looked fine. Oh, my God. It's right there. $400,000. I ain't seen that much money ever. It's practically sinful. So, sir, I am going to be in a very big trouble along with you oh, also being in a Lord. very big trouble if we oh, do not no. get this money out. Yeah, I can't, I so can't let this just, get in the news. That would ruin my, 
my preaching. I wouldn't be able to preach to my congregation if they found out. We got to fix this, son. We got to fix yes, this. We have to fix this. And yeah. I will tell you how you have to fix this because you don't lie. You don't do or any stuff like oh, that. Oh, hell no. For that's this, if the, you have that's to... against the Ten Commandments, boy. I don't tell no lie. You tell a lie, you can go to hell. Yes, but sir. But, sir, right now, if I try to cancel the transaction from my account and if I do not lie to my bank that this was a mistake, if they, if I tell my bank it was a mistake and if I tell them the truth, then they are going to lock my account along with your account. So I cannot lie to my bank, okay? Uh, like, I, oh. I, I have to lie to my bank then because be, if I do not lie to my you... bank, if you I do need not, to, you if need I to do say not, a prayer, boy. If, you need to say a prayer. If pray to the good Lord. If I don't for forgiveness. If I if I do not lie, listen, sir, to my bank that it was not a mistake. If I tell them, see, if I tell my bank it was a mistake, they are going to lock the account because it will be suspected as a fraudulent charge. If it is a fraudulent charge, then my account, which has $5,800,000, will be locked along with your account also. I will just no. show you what will happen if I, if I tell the bank it was a mistake, okay? Just tell me what do you see on your screen. Son, the bank is empty. What happened, boy? It's a zero. What's going on? Right. You need to understand sir, that I have to. What the you hell? You need to understand. Okay, will you listen, sir? Now, I am just huh? trying to tell you the consequences. If I do not lie to my bank, and if I do not tell them, if I don't, if I tell them that it was a mistake, they are going to lock my account along with your account. So I have to tell them it was not a mistake, so I approve the transaction. If I approve the transaction, the money will go back to your account and it will be normal with along with my $400,000. But you have to promise me once you get all your money back, you will listen to me or not. Son, I'm listening. I'm listening to you. I will return you the money back, but you also have to lie to your bank whatever Son, I will tell you to I'm tell them. I'm a preacher, boy! If I get caught lying, I ain't gonna be a preacher no more! Then, sir, you will lo get locked all your accounts. I know it. you are a preacher. There is something in the eyes of the bank. E sir, I just want you to understand a simple thing. You go to any shopping center sometimes and you over swipe your card or you use it, you use your debit card and sometimes your card gets declined and then your bank freezes your card. Similar to that, if I am going to list this transaction as a fraud, then my account will be blocked along with your account. So I cannot put this transaction on fraud and because that is the consequence which will happen right now on your screen. It will be zero. So I have to release the transaction so that your account is normal and along with my account is also normal. And after you get the money, then we will decide how to get this money in a safer method and in a way which will be convenient for you and for me. I'm gonna weigh the options and I decided in spite of me being a man of the word, I can tell a lie, just a little white lie, but I is going to have to have a prayer with you, boy. We're going to pray to Jesus Sir. and ask Jesus to yeah, forgive us. Will. We need to pray so that we can be not set to the subjugation of the principles of telling such a lie. Okay, sir, simply log into your bank, sir. Okay. Son, I'm trying to log in. 
and the darn screen turned blue on me. Yes, sir, because your account and my account is interconnected right now. But now it's blue again, so software's updating. All right. Now, sir, I will return you all the money back, okay? And once it is returned, you will have to simply go to your bank and make a wire transfer, okay? Have you ever made a wire transfer before, sir? Yeah, of course. So I will tell you where you have to send this money and how you have to send this money. And today, you do not have to send the whole amount of money. The reason why I'm saying you do not have to send the whole amount of money is because Thank God. Your bank My money has been restored. Your... Yeah. Hallelujah. Got me money back. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you have got your money back, but you need to listen to me very carefully now. I'm that listening. I'm listening to you. Be... I'm listening to you, boy. What say you? Today, you, today, sir, you from four hundred thousand dollars, you just have to keep your refund, which is four hundred dollars, and you have to send us rest of our three hundred and ninety nine thousand six hundred dollars back. Understood. Okay? Understood. But today you will own. Today you will only send us eighty thousand dollars. Write it down on a piece of paper. $80,000. Yeah. The reason I why I'm trying to, the reason why I'm trying to tell you to break the payments is because then your bank will not be suspicious and they will not try to lock your account. So today, the reason why I'm saying you have to make an initial payment of $80,000 is because if you try to withdraw the whole amount of money and then exactly send us the money, because then the bank will ask you, like suddenly you got the money and why you are taking out the whole amount of money again. So you need to understand that today we will only do for $80,000. Right. Okay. Right. And I'm going to give you the details and you just have to tell them a cover story of how and why you are sending this money to and why you are sending this money. That'll be the basis of our so prayer, how far is the, We're going to have to say a prayer yeah, how, for the good load. Yes, sir. Uh, how far is the bank from you, sir? Um, the bank? Oh, that's about a 20-minute drive. Okay. And am I speaking to you on your cell phone? Yeah, yeah. it's my cell phone, son. So are you using an iPhone or what phone are you using? Um, it's a it's a Motorola, one of them flipper phones. Did you use a flip phone? Yeah, yeah it's got a little flipper. You just open it up like Captain Cook and you talk into it. Okay. Why are you asking? Uh, no, I was asking you because, sir, uh, like we had to secure your or cell phone as well, but if you're using a flip phone, then I cannot help you. What you're so asking, sir, basically, I don't understand. Sir, uh, what you... I don't understand what you're talking so about. So, basically, I want to speak to you on your cell phone. Am I speaking to you on your cell phone right now? This is my cell phone, son, yes. Okay, so I'm speaking to you on the flip phone? Son! Sounds to me like God didn't turn you over right when you was born. For the third time, yeah, this is my cell phone. I am talking to you right. using my cell phone. I do not have any other phone. So I am going to tell you what you exactly have to tell the bank in order to complete the transaction, all right, sir? Okay. You have to tell them, as you are a preacher, you have to say something which is related to your business, and that is the reason why you are sending the money. You cannot tell them that you made a mistake and you got this money accidentally on your bank. Okay? I got an idea. Keep going. You have to tell your uh, bank the 
reason why you are making this wire transfer, it will be international wire transfer, okay? Okay. Tell them that you know the person you are sending this money and it is for a church in Hong Kong, okay? There's commies. It will not what? work out. Those commies, they don't have church. Yeah, they do not have church, but you just have to tell them that you're making an initiative over there. So basically, you want me to pretend I'm sending money to hell. How about... No, you're not sending money to the hell, sir. I'm just telling you what you need. Since we pretending, boy, we're going to have to pray. Let's just pretend that I had me a little concubine who be living in Hong Kong. And she come and visited me, and we took all the parties, and now I got to pay her some money to keep a little birdie mouth shut. Because I'm a preacher, and I shouldn't be messing around with no little little Hong Kong chickie. So I have to, have to pay her money to uh, keep her birdie mouth shut. Because I took all the party. I did not understand a word, sir, because I'm very nervous right now. So and... I'm trying to... Son, if I'm going to send money to hell, I might as well have it be colorful and interesting. What I'm proposing is that a little girl from Hong Kong, she come over and visited me, and we tickled our parties. You know how you make babies? And you're not supposed to do that because I'm a married man. And I is a preacher. So when I send her back to the Hong Kong, I have to send her some money so she can keep her little birdie mouth shut. So it doesn't get out, and then a big scandal break out. So I have to keep a little birdie mouth shut. Birdie mouth shut? Her party mouth. She's a little You're party. talking to me? No, her. Are you talking to me? Or are you... I'm talking about the Hong Kong lady. The girl from Hong Kong. She comes over yeah. to my house, and she tickled her party with yeah. me. And then I sent her back home. Okay. And she, and she's going to tell everybody unless I give her some money. So I do it to keep her mouth shut. I am oh. not understanding a word right now, sir. Son, you, you, I you will young. have to lock the you, whole account. You young, you don't get it. Just, we were just saying that I'm helping out. I'm, I'm helping out somebody in that, in that, in that China. That I'm sending money to help them out. Sir, China is different and Hong Kong is different, okay? Hong Kong is the capital fiduciary center of, of China. I did a sermon on it six months ago. Oh, I see some information. Is that be the person I'm sending this $80,000 to? Yes, sir. The whole story will come up that you made a mistake and that is the reason why you're returning this money. So we cannot tell the bank that you made a mistake or you are returning this money. You have to make a cover story instead of that and you have to tell the bank that you know this woman personally and you're sending this money, the reason which I told you, like for the church purpose. So I sent him money to help them for the church purpose. Got it. Correct. The rest of the amount, we will do it on Monday or on Tuesday. But okay. firstly, we can I do have that. to, I, yeah, I do not want the full amount of money to be transferred today because it will be suspicious for your bank and for our end as well. Because your bank will might ask you, like, suddenly you got this money and you're trying to again send this money. So yeah. we won't do that. All right? Okay. Okay. Well, son, um, I'm assuming so, you're gonna want me to go to the bank right now, right? Right, sir. Okay, son, I need to I need to take some time. I'm still in my skivvies. I need to get some clothes on so I can go out to the Publix. Can you give me about ten minutes, ball? I gotta get dressed. You get dressed. And you do not hang up this line. You take your cell phone along with you in the bank as well. Okay? Do sure. not hang up the line. I'm, All right? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set the phone down, boy, and I'm gonna go get some clothes on. Okay, sir. Okay. I'll be right back. Give me ten minutes, boy. Uh right. Playing Uncle Dan at length kinda of gives me a bit of a headache. 
I'm going to take some Advil. I'll be right back. So tell me, like, who are you? You've been talking to me for an hour and 30 minutes, boy. You don't know my name? No, it does not sound like you are Daniel. Son, you don't know me. You just met me. Son, something wrong? Because you're confusing me. I cannot trust you. But son, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I told you I would return that money. I'm willing to go to the bank. Why don't you trust me? Uh -huh. So why are you, like, why is your wife sending money to the same Hong Kong and all these places? Son, I'm a preacher. We have an outreach program. What do you expect? You told me that you did not tell me that uh, you send money to Hong Kong. I and didn't. It was for my, family purpose. My wife is an international mentor, boy. Can I Google her up? Joe. Jennifer Clark Wilson. You type it in. You do it. Son, I don't have time for this. You're dealing with me, not my wife. No, I need to know, like, if I am the real person or not. Son, I'm going to hang up on you if you don't cut this out. I have gotten ready to go to the bank, and now you want to know about my wife? Seriously. Then you to, you show a me sick who boy. you are. Show me who are you. Son, goodbye. I'm keeping this money. You can go fuck yourself, son. No, he was able to um, see old emails that Jennifer sent. Son, I'm not, I'm 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 done with you, boy. You're trying to pry into my wife's life. You was going through her emails. No, I was having a problem. Like, why you have details of bank of Hong Kong bank, and then you know that. Son, my wife is a mentor. She works internationally. Do you know what that means? Now shut the fuck up. Let me do this or we don't. What do you want? You are not going to send me the money, then I will lock your account forever. Son, I told you I was going to go to my bank. First of all, talk to me in your real voice, okay? I know you what? are a hacker. Okay, son, I think you're a troubled Jew. I don't understand you. I'm just going to go to my bank and I tell them that I'm going to go to my bank without you. I'm going to go Talk tell to them that I'm going to go to my bank without you. They're going to return the money. You'll have it tomorrow. You can forget about the refund. You a nosy, you don't you have a nosy, to do anything. You a nosy son of a bitch. You were going through my wife's emails. You a nosy son of a bitch. You are a son of a bitch. Son. I'm not going to even pray for you. That's that bad. You a loser. Fuck you are a loser. Fuck your brain. You a loser.